Hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, I've done a few videos in the past about new cars, electric cars becoming cheaper, and also used cars becoming cheaper, because electric used cars used to be expensive in the second-hand market. Now, I got an article in front of me. It's just come out, I think it has. It says it's the 12th of February. So it says, electric cars are reaching price parity. Okay, and that's from a... a it's, a company called, I, I'm going to say it's called Indicator. It looks like it's spelled Indicator, but I think it might be a play on words of Indicator. I don't know. Um, so if I look down a little bit further, it says electric cars are starting to reach price parity with their ICE counterparts, according to a new white paper released by Indicator. I ain't going to call it Indicator. If it's Indicator, I'm going to say Indicator. You say potato and I say patata. Okay? Right, okay. So, um, it says, the used prices of five popular BEVs from Citroen, MG, Vauxhall, Peugeot and Hyundai. Uh, and it was compared against the equivalent ICE models during 2023 and 2024. And it says, it says price parity is vital for BEVs in the used market as consumers are now being offered all the latest fuel types at a similar price. Now I think it did say further down, um, what did it say by you? It said, it said BEVs used to be commanding a 25 to 30% premium over the ICE counterparts and it's saying that premium has disappeared now and the, the thing is I've been looking, I've been looking in the used car market for an electric car and I have noticed prices coming down. I have noticed it. I've been keeping my BDI on the prices. Now, I gotta be careful that I don't wait too long because if if they get too cheap and everybody buys them and there's not much stock left, then the prices could start going back up again. So it's all, you know, you've got to tread carefully and choose when to buy. Sometimes if you leave it too late, it goes back up again. So anyway, let's read a bit more. What does it say here? Um, it says price parity is fueling demand just as the volumes of used BEVs, particularly X Fleet cars, are increasing, which is good news for the entire industry. It's good news. It's good news. So, look, I know people don't like it when I mention anti EV, but I'm talking to the people who don't like EVs. It's good news. It's good news. <laughs> I like a bit of good news. Um, so, it shows, the white paper shows. Uh, prices of used BEVs were peaking, peaking in Q Q3 of 2022, where demand and chip shortage weakened supply. But then prices fell as OEMs pushed discounted new and newly new used BEVs into the market, which coincided with rising volumes of two to three year old XPCP leasing and salary sacrifice BEVs. This caused prices to crash by over 30%. See, so they've done a study. They've done a study and they're telling you what's, what's happened, okay? Um, this is for people who go, ah, remember now, the people who said electric cars are too expensive, they complained. When they got cheaper, they're still complaining. And I've said this many times, they put the goalposts by here and when the goalposts get smashed up, they put a new set but there with a different challenge. So they all all these people, all these people who hate EVs were going, I'll never buy an EV, they're too expensive. Now they're saying, I'll never buy an EV because they're too cheap. What kind of sense is that? It don't make any sense. <laughs> and you know who you are. You know the people who have said that, said that. You know who you are. You aren't the EV people. You have said it in the past. You've said it's too expensive. No, you're saying it's too cheap. Um, and probably somebody will comment now, saying they are too cheap, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so where was I? I was I went off on a tangent then, didn't I? Um, what did I say by us? So I said volumes of two to three year XPCP leasing and sal salary sacrifice BEVs, this caused the, the price to crash by over 30%. That's, that's quite a big big number it said in Q1 2024 there have been signs that used BEV prices have stabilized as prices fell by just 1.3 percent 
during the three month period. So I think, like, like I just said, I said earlier on, the prices will sort of stabilize, then they might start creeping back up. So I think the wrong about now is the right time for a cheap second hand electric car. Um, so they have done all the studies about it. Um, let's see what it says down by here. A Peugeot 208 BEV and petrol models reached price parity in June 2023, at, at which point BEVs became worth more. BEVs became worth more than the equivalent petrol. What does that make any sense, does it? Um, so it says that's how it stayed until both fuel types reached price parity again in March 2024. Oh, so they reached price parity. Then I think the BEV went back up again. Now it's reached pr price parity again. So there we go. So, I mean, it's all good news. I think it's good news. Uh, people go on about, uh, people keep criticising its fleet sales. But you can see that it's saying by her that, you know, there's certain things that could be least... I can't speak. Why can't I speak? <laughs> I've lost... <laughs> I've lost the ability to speak. Um, so I, I'm assuming they're saying PCP, leasing and salary sacrifice bevs. I wonder if that comes on, all comes under fleet. Somebody once, somebody said it does. I don't know. It might do. So there we go. Is now the right time to buy an electric car? Will it get a little bit cheaper? I don't know. Is it good that um, loads of second hand cars come into the market? Yeah, of course it is because it gives other people a chance to buy an electric car. Anyway, that's my waffle about that story there. I just thought I'd make a story about that because I thought it was interesting that it's saying electric cars are reaching price parity. And I have been looking. I've been looking. I have. I've had my BDAs <laughs> on all, all sorts of cars that are on a good luck. Except the BMW i3. The BMW i3, for some reason, the price on that just seems to be quite a lot uh, second hand. It doesn't seem to drop much. Anyway. There we go. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi! -ho